I spent way too much time hunting down all this corruption. It started to make me go numb. I keep telling myself one more target and I'll be done. But it just keeps going on and on with no end in sight. Hey! It's up to you. <laughs> That's a big gun. I took it from my lord. Get on your knees. Do what you think. I'm sick with justice. Hey! All I ask is you take down one more. If nothing changes, give it up. She's wrecking for the phantom chair. Spinny, spinny. I have been wanting to make this video for a very long time. And I've been putting it off because I feel like I have to be in the right mood and the right mindset. But then I started thinking, well, if you don't do it, you're going to die eventually. And you'll never do it. So I thought I figured today I had enough energy to sit on my lighter to do it. And I'm bringing you... Probably the best review that I'll we'll ever bring to you, or at least the review that I've waited the longest to do, and probably the most in-depth review, give or take, because I've had a lot of time with this product. So, for what that's worth, I mean, a lot of people have a lot of time with, like, sicknesses, so that doesn't mean that they're an expert on it. I mean, I don't know. But anyway, so what I have for review for you today, for your viewing pleasure, is a WE USA Beretta 92 Black Lagoon Edition. And this is why it's cool. I'm going to put that away for a second. Black Lagoon, I got the whole Blu-ray box set, is an awesome anime. I think it is anyway. Some people might not like it. It's pretty vulgar, I guess. Um, a lot of adult humor in it, a lot of cursing, a lot of violence. But it's the most American anime that I've ever seen. Like, if somebody in, if an American, American, America's great, vote Trump. Uh, <laughs> political views are awesome. If somebody's not into anime and you want to get them interested, haven't watched Black Lagoon. I mean, if they like American TV shows like, you know, like the CSI or like, I don't know, whatever ones people watch, The Walking Dead or violent stuff. You know, if they, people like violent stuff and action. Black Lagoon has it in spades. I have not seen Roberta's Blood Trail, though. Or, yeah, Blood Trail Trial. I, I should probably watch that. I just haven't got a chance to. But uh, the original two parts of Black Lagoon are awesome. The first half is probably better than the second, but debatable. I, I think both were good. But it's just one season. But anyway. In the season series, I'm not going to get too in-depth in it, but Revy, the main character, has a Beretta 92. It's a long slide customized for her. The Beretta 92 Sword Cutlass. And I saw it in the anime, and I'm like, oh my god, I want one. And then I looked up, and they actually made airsoft replicas of them. And now I was like, eee! So, I bought one. And I got it from e-bike. It was about 100? 100 bucks-ish, give or take. I uh, should have bought two because in the series she dual wields. And I thought, oh, I should get two. But technically, with the way it ends, my shirt comes up. This, is, this shirt is so. Let's get off topic. This shirt is so short that you like won't stay tucked in. It doesn't help that I don't have any fat to keep it tucked in. Yeah! Gotta eat more fatty foods. I don't like fatty foods. I look good at like fast food restaurants. <laughs> Coffee. So, I was gonna get two. But then I realized, well, at the end of the series, one of them gets destroyed. So technically, one exists. Give or take. Anyway, so the Beretta 92 WE USA, made by WE USA. What is that sticking in the box? Oh, it's a hair. Fuzz. Oh, no, that's part of the packaging. Oh my god, I've destroyed the packaging. Uh, this is going to do an extremely injustice if I open up and like, and you say, look at this, and you're going to see you. So, uh, we're going to be close by this, and then you can really see all the, the, the details. Okay, yeah. right, so. This cake is the trash. No, screw it, we're keeping it in. This is what you get, with free admission. <laughs> WE, USA. The box is extremely plain. There's really nothing to it. It just, it tells nothing. Literally nothing. Because you were warning. Don't shoot yourself in the face, I guess. 
They say it could be mistaken for a real gun, because it could, I guess. If you open it up, really simple packaging. Comes with the gun and a little foam insert. Take the gun out, put it to the side right now. You foam insert out and put it to the side. It actually does not come with instructions, I believe. It does not. So, and this is just, it's kind of cruddy the way this is in here, but, you know. I mean, you didn't buy it for the packaging. I mean, I know presentation's important, but, uh, come on. You bought it for the product. We can get that out of the way. Red 92! Yes! Long slide! It's a big gun. It's hard to hold it like this, and I'm gonna move the camera. Tip, it is threaded. We'll just go tip the front. Tip the front. Oh my god, I'm retarded. Tip to back. You have a threaded barrel. Which all the way back. You have your... Come on, focus. 9mm sword cutlass. Right there. Got your takedown, which does come apart. I haven't done it in a while, so I've got to remember how to do it. Slide lock right there. Your safety. This is really hard to get it in camera. Got your grips or custom grips. Your little skull and crossbones. And laying on the other side. I just muzzled myself. Oh my god. Unsafe. Here you got model 9 or 2 AF. Another little sword thing. And I can't remember what the script says. It, it's in another language, but um, it's supposed to say something, but I can't remember. And I do have a blemish right here. I can't remember. I think it came with that. But uh, it's not that big of a deal. It's not a super deal breaker. I mean, this isn't... Come on, focus. This isn't a Tokyo Maru. So, you know, <laughs> you're paying for... You get what you're paying for. Which, I mean, it's actually really decent. And as far as weight goes, I believe this is the same weight as a real Beretta 92 because it's really heavy. it got a lot of weight to it, so it feels realistic. And then everything's functional, too. Like, you got your mag release. Magazines come out, look really good. Take uh, green gas or propane, which gets these in a second. Um, I have had some problems with some leaking, but, um, yeah. So, as we're not in a way, so we're going to bump it. Your operation, your slide goes back. It will lock. Oops. <laughs> it will lock. Like that's locked back. You can see straight through the sunshine, just like a real gun. Load your mag in, and you'll. Oh my God, this is so awkward. See, there you go. And if the magazine's in, it will lock back by itself. So all functional. Trigger pull. It is a single action, double action. So you can at first you can have the. Oh my God, sniffle, sniffle. Oh, so attractive. See, double action. Boom. And then if you pull the trigger and it actually had gas in it, this would. Cycle and then reset. So completely functional, and then your safety is functional. It has three stops, I believe. They make some of the WE Beretta 92s with full auto, so I believe that would be the selective switch for that. This one does not have full auto, but it does have a safety, so it will not fire. So functional safety, you can thumb your hammer back. It is a big gun in hand because it's a long slide, but oh, let's see the sights here. Let's get right down to sights. Gangster style, yo! Pretty decent sights. I don't have much trouble with them. All right, here, let's do it this way. You can see the profile. Very nice profile on it. Holding this thing just feels like a hand cannon, which in the anime it pretty much was. Now, let's see if I can... Oh, wiggle the camera. Yes. Take it down. I think, take it down. I think you go like so. And then slide that forward. Yes, there you go. Disassembled. There's your lower. I don't think you're supposed to drive fire while it's like that. Here's your upper, and I haven't really taken it apart past this, but you have all your in terminals. In terminals! And you can see how it works. It's probably more complicated than a real gun, in all honesty. And we're gonna do it. Put it back on the rails. And lock it back. Flip your little switch up. In order to flip this down on the other side, you have your little notch that you push at in with your index finger, push that in, and then slide that down, and bring your bring your side forward. So really simple disassembly if you have to clean it. Um, I hear you're not supposed to do this. You actually want oops, camera. You actually want to rack it back with your hand and bring it forward. It's just what I've heard because it can wear down. Because the metal obviously is not. Um, it's not like a. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't know facts. Um, it's not a real like blued steel or like stainless. I think it's like some, it's probably some alloy. So it's not going to be as sturdy as a real gun. So you don't really want to, you don't want to trash it. But I mean, it doesn't really have to be baby because it's not plastic. Um, so as far as, let's see, what else can I go over on it? As far as the trigger pull goes, it's got a really nice trigger pull. Got a little bit of take up here and then right at the end. And see now, all right, now there's a slight issue with it, and we'll show that, um, oh, excuse me, a little bit later, but uh, that's, that will be explained. 
Uh, double action, it's really nice, not too stiff. Let's see what happened there with the reset. It has to do with a internal spring, and that's a downside to it. Oh God, Damn. let me show you what I'm talking about here. Where'd I put my pocket knife? I can't remember, I got too many pockets on these 5.11s. All right, so there is a slight issue and we're actually going to move this camera in. My camera work is just so professional. Send me loads of money. All right. So, if you take the right side grip off, so this side, for people who don't know what side grip I'm talking about, just need a filled screwdriver. Freaking action tinkerer works just fine. Awesome knife, by the way. Awesome! I mean, they're so classic. And, then you feel like, dun 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 dun, oh MacGyver, I can't sing that, I, that song because it's copyrighted. And I'll get flighters so like, oh, you're MacGyver in the thingy. And you can't curse in mo uh, movies. <laughs> you can't curse in YouTube because, like, they'll demonetize your videos, which, I mean, I never curse anyway. So, I mean, every now and then if I, like, you know, drop a brick on my foot. Oh! Wow, there goes the screw. You don't want to lose these screws. They kind of go wonky. Wonky to donkeys. All right, so now if you pry this up, nice and easy. Now you have to really be careful because. This spring right here. See that little spring that loops around? Let's pull it out here. This spring can cause you a lot of trouble. It has to do with the trigger bar. So, what happens is this spring, I'm gonna try to explain it the best I can. Let's get a pointer. Right in this piece here, there's a little channel and the top of the spring has to fit in there. So what happens is you rapid fire really fast, this spring will pop out of that little channel. And then that makes it so that whenever you pull a trigger, let's zoom in a little bit here. See, just disconnect. You're like, cause this has to stay pushed up and that's what the spring does. So without spring tension on it, if that just is loose, your trigger doesn't work. So that can be a problem because that, I'm dropping everything today, oh my god. And that can be a problem, obviously, because if you're in the heat of the battle, heat of the moment, and your spring decides to pop out, you won't technically lose the spring, because it stays inside the gun from all my, uh, come on. See, it's really challenging to get back in here. Hold up. Ah, <laughs> yeah, this is entertaining, isn't it? Cause see, it'll slip over this little, this little lip right here. It slips over. It has to stay all the way down. And for some reason, the grips just don't want to. Uh, they're just not. They just don't want to keep it on. <laughs> I guess that's the best way to put it. So, if you're fighting and you pull it and you rapid fire too fast, that will disengage on you, and then you'll have issues because you cannot, cannot fire, which causes problems. And you don't want to be doing this out in the field. Definitely not. And so now, I'm sure you're wondering by this point, how does it function in real life? Well, we'll take some test shots for you. If you've watched any of my videos, I've used this a lot in the intro, so you already kind of get an idea of what it looks like in it fires. But for you newbies, we'll show you some footage of this awesome thing firing and blowing some stuff up. Right, so off. we got everything all loaded up here. Our mags loaded up, all four of them, one's the gun. Uh, the way that you do it is you just kind of pull on this little, little release there and then I always load in from the top um, It's easier that way if you just thumb in each round individually that way you can make sure that they're all staggered and it holds 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 30, 40, 60, 70, 90, 21. It holds like 26-ish or so And the way you gas these up, let me do this one first, is you take your propane Swivel you over here a little bit so you can see a little bit better So you take your propane, I got the um, the nozzle uh, tool thingy adjustment Evike sells it. Just go on Evike and find it. And uh, you put in your little port there, stick it there, and you want to push or else the gas will spray everywhere. Like that. Roll it for a couple seconds. You have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pull it out, you hear a little pop. Should be pressurized up pretty good. You do not want to push that. <laughs> That'll release all the gas and you'll have a problem. I think it actually destroys the, uh, the seals if you do that. So this one actually is not leaking. Same. You can hear them hiss. This one doesn't hiss. Something's buzzing around my head. So I'm gonna go gas up the rest and we'll take a couple right, shots. So two of these mags are actually leaking. So we'll use those Oops, two first. A couple first. of my targets fell over. For targets, I got monster cans set up. They were set up, <laughs> curiously. Rather. 
sort of. It's in a cardboard box. Got two monster cans up there, two down there. Got a water or milk jug down there over here. Got another can behind cover. So we'll shoot through that. And that should be awesome. And uh, this is what the Navy SEALs train whip. I mean, it's that's that's what they do. It's it's been proven. I've here approved I it. Here I am looking all disheveled. This is hot out here. I was wearing a suit jacket out here earlier, and that's that's hot. But let's have some fun. I think we ran out of gas. Didn't lock back in the last shot. Yeah, we're out of gas. That was one of the leakers. But still, it's okay. Well, that's just really fun to shoot. You know, it's just a couple magazines have problems. Let's go see what we did. All right, so, destruction. Let's get out of my shadow here. Pretty good, goes through a milk jug really well. Bouncing off a couple when it got near the end of the mag, but that's okay. Uh, Monster Kansas goes through no trouble at all. Knocked one of these guys off here. That one's knocked off. And I believe that actually it did actually go through the cardboard and go straight through this jug. So that just kind of shows you the power. Well, it didn't go straight through it, but it did go into it enough to uh, to dent it pretty severely right there. So that just shows you the power of it. I mean, I can't remember the exact feet per second of it, but it does pretty good destruction there. I mean, I'm impressed. So as for any final verdict on WE Beretta 92 Black Lagoon Edition, Sword Cutlass. It is a very awesome airsoft gun. I would recommend it to anybody who has the cash to shell out for it. Like I said, it's about 100-ish. 100-ish, so it's quite a bit for an airsoft gun, but you think it'll last you. You know, it'll last you a long time. You'll get a lot of use out of it. I've had mine for, ooh, probably two years or so now. I mean, it's, you know, it's fun to play with, just mess around with. Um, Durability-wise, it seems pretty good. The only problem is that spring, but, I mean, it's not that big of a deal as long as you don't rapid fire. I didn't have any problems out there. Um, the only issue I did have was with a couple of magazines, but that's the magazines themselves, so it's not necessarily uh, the gun's fault. And you, I, it might just be a bad O-ring or something in there. I mean, you can buy replacement parts for these magazines. I mean, they're like really customizable, the guns. I mean, you can buy like aftermarket parts and everything for them. So if something does bust, I mean, they're serviceable. And WE, Tokyo Maru, I believe those ones, they got really good fan base and customer service. So, you know, you'll, you'll have a gun that'll service you for a while. But uh, yeah, other than that, I mean, I highly recommend it. It's, it's fun just for a prop gun. I mean, you, you know, just it's just cool to have something that's like full weight and you know it's crazy nerd boys like that sort of stuff. I have to come around the corner. See any neighbors out there? I think we're clear from neighbors. Where are you, Mark? Where are you, Sonny? Oh, there you are. I gotta make sure there's no neighbors around that are gonna call the cops. Literally, all I need right now is the cops to drive by, and I will get so arrested if they don't shoot me. You guys an orange tip, though. Find the stupid funky Metal Gear stand. Yeah, I need sticks in the way. Probably bugs under here. Run away! I don't know if I'm supposed to have any lines at this part. <laughs> That's a big gun. Hey, hey, nay, nay.
This is gonna kill me. This I'm trying to get this skid. It it sucks. What's the next line? Oh, don't tell me I destroyed the. Oh, that's safe. <laughs> I make a good bad guy, don't I?